The spread of COVID-19 has complicated the lives of many people, including the students of UMKC. What was once a thriving campus is now a ghost town, as classes are now being done online through the rest of the semester. We talked with two UMKC students to get an idea of how they have adjusted to life in quarantine. The thing I like most about moving classes online is that I don't have to get up every morning to go to class. Uh, for me, the thing I like most is probably that I get to do things more on my own time and um, I don't even have to commute anymore. Um, some challenges in my personal life that I've faced is just like not getting to see my friends. It's just like I don't like being stuck inside and I do like to go out and I've definitely not been exercising as much as I should be and it just feels like a lot of aspects besides my like academic life have kind of gone down. It's definitely affected my job. I worked at a restaurant and that restaurant is no longer dining, doing dine-in services where to goes only and yeah, that really affects me because I'm a server, so I get tips, and if I'm working at a to-go place only, I don't really get those direct tips that, you know, is pretty much three-fourths of my income. Not only their personal lives have been complicated by the virus, but their school lives as well. So my classes are being administered. Uh, some of them are a mix of Panopto and Zoom, while others are just Zoom. And for me, I think I prefer the just Zoom more because with the Panoptos and the Zoom together, it's like extra homework for me where I have to watch the Panopto and then do my other work and like take my quizzes. Whereas for the Zoom, it's just like I can just get the class done at the right time. Exams are all being administered online. I actually really like that they're all online because one of my classes is now an open note final exam, which is pretty sick. Uh, so exams are being administered by uh, just using Canvas without any like lockdown browser or anything. And for me personally, I think this isn't like the best way to do it because a lot of people can just cheat straight up. The hardest part for me moving classes online is just being able to adjust to doing all my assignments online and lectures. Personally, for me, I don't feel like I'm getting the same experience with my classes by doing them online because uh, I definitely do enjoy being in a classroom more than I like being sitting at my desk and just like looking at videos. Couldn't really say that I'm learning it to the same degree that I would be if I were sitting in the classroom. So I am taking a audio recording techniques class in the conservatory and a lot of our uh, coursework is hands-on. We don't have a final or anything. It's pretty much all just working in the studio, recording stuff, uh, working with microphones and stuff like that. So this really kind of, this whole quarantine stuff really kind of ruined that class for me. Um, all of it's online now. You know, it's really not the same as being able to work in a professional studio. I think the option of getting credit, no credit is a great idea because it gives students the ability to actually like opt out of like grades tanking because of having to take online classes. I know for some people it's like they actually have to be in the classroom to actually learn something. But uh, for me, I know I won't do it because if I want to apply to a med school and they see that I did uh, this class is just for credit instead of seeing like what grade I got in the class A or B and they just see credit, they'll weigh their options and pick the students that pick to like actually get grades. If I was failing a class, yeah, I would definitely consider doing that. It's kind of like a get out of jail free card. I think it's good, you know, a lot of people are, you know, affected by this coronavirus and UKC can't really measure the extent of that to everybody. While classes are online for the remainder of the semester, they are set to return to on-campus instruction in the fall.